Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about our power rankings and also our picks for Week 5. Let's get into the power rankings. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Not going to keep you too long. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. Let it go. All right, let's start from the bottom. So it's a little, a lot of mix up this week in the power rankings and I also added the streaks into my my equation. So like your winning streak, your losing streak, and that's what you'll you'll see beside the the names this week. You'll see like L1, L2, L3, W1, W2, W3. And those streaks will start to pay more dividends, even so with the record as we go forward. So right now it's your record. And your streaks are huge dividends into how I kind of factor in where you're at. Um, but let's start at the bottom. Uh, Patriots coming in at 32. Browns at 31. Panthers at 30. Rams at 29. Bengals at 28. Titans at 27. Jaguars at 26. Saints at 25. Chargers at 24. Jets at 23. All right. Our biggest losers for the week. And again, the biggest losers are in red. The biggest gainers are in green. So for this week, uh, one of the biggest losers are the Raiders. Raiders are minus eight. The Raiders lost to uh, the Broncos 34 to 18. Uh, the next biggest loser are the Colts. They have, they're a minus nine. They're at 21. The Colts lost to the Jaguars 37 to 34. The Jaguars, that was their very first win. All right, going up, the Eagles at 20. They didn't have a game last week. Um, 49ers, they're the other biggest losers at minus eight. They're at two and three now. The 49ers lost to the Cardinals, 24 to 23. All right, and you have the Dolphins coming in at 18. All right, 17. You see our two biggest gainers. The Giants coming in at 17. The Giants beat the Seahawks. Cardinals coming in at 16. The Cardinals beat the 49ers. Steelers at 15. They've lost two in a row. They've dropped out of the top 10 down to 15. Let me scroll up a little bit. Seahawks have lost two in a row. They're at 14. They've made their way out of the top 10. The Bills lost two in a row. They've out of the, they're out of the top 10 at 13. Buccaneers, they've lost one. They're out of the top 10. Got them at 12. Packers, they're at 11. A huge jump. Huge jump. They had plus 10, but they're not two of the top 10 because of the Cards and the, the Giants. And now we get into our top 10. The Bears come in at 10. Bears with a victory over the Panthers, 36 to 10. Moved up eight spots to come in at number 10. They've won two in a row. At number nine, the Falcons. They moved up seven spots. The Falcons beat the Buccaneers on Thursday Night Football, 36 to 30. 36 to 30. Uh, moved up seven spots to the number nine spot and they've won two in a row number eight the cowboys who've also won two in a row they beat the steelers uh sunday night football 20 to 17 they moved up five spots to number eight coming in at number seven the broncos are in the top 10 broncos have won three in a row moved up eight spots again this is where your win streak kind of helps you out you know in in my power rankings that's why they're in the top 10 because of that little that win streak on top of their rankings they're three and two Coming in at number six, Baltimore Ravens. They've also won three in a row. Uh, they move up four spots from the number 10 spot. Number five, the Houston Texans. They've won two in a row. And, they, you know, they did drop a spot. They've won two in a row. Coming in at number four, the Washington Commanders. They're four and one. They beat the Browns last week. They, um... That streak is really one of the reasons why I have them up there. They lost their very first game to, uh, let me see, I forget who they lose it to. They lost their first game to Tampa Bay. They came back and have won every game since then. So they're four and one. <clears throat> and that's why I have them at number four, partly partly because of that streak. But the number four team and the number six team do face off versus each other um, this weekend. Go to number three. Number three is the Detroit Lions. They did not have a game this week. They were on a bye. They're sitting at three and one. They've won two in a row. 
Number two, the Vikings. They're five and zero. They beat uh, the Vikings beat the Jets twenty three to seventeen in London last past week. And then the Forty Nines just keep. Fi- I'm sorry, not the Forty Nines. The Chiefs just keep finding a way to win. They are five and zero. They beat uh, who they beat? They beat the Saints Monday night third twenty six to thirteen. And again, until somebody beat the Chiefs or the Vikings, they're probably going to stay at the top of this list uh, until I see otherwise. So let's get into the picks this week and kind of see where we're at on our picks. Uh, this is the first week of the bye week, so we won't have as many picks this week. So looking at the picks from last week, this is what I had, and let's see how well we did or how well I did. Uh, first game, Thursday night, Atlanta versus Tampa Bay. I got that one right. Uh, Sunday morning, Minnesota versus the Jets. I got that one right. Um Carolina and Chicago, I got that one wrong. Chicago pulled that victory out. Baltimore versus Cincinnati, got that one right. Miami versus New England, got that one right. Cleveland versus Washington, I missed on that one. Um, Indianapolis versus Jacksonville, missed on that one. Buffalo versus Houston, missed on that one. Denver and Vegas, got that one right. San Francisco and Arizona, got that one wrong. Uh, Green Bay and Rams, got that one right. Giants and Seattle missed on that one. Dallas and Pittsburgh got that one right. And Kansas City versus New Orleans hit on that one. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight correct. And one, two, three, four, five, six wrong. Let's add that up and see where we're at for the year. All right, let's add our eight last week and then six losses. For the year, that puts us at 41 and 36. We are five games over 500. So it's a lot better because we were right at even a few weeks ago. So we're just going to build on this week and hopefully get better. Let's take a look at week five, uh, week six games and let's get these picks in. All right, week six is here. And Thursday night's game, San Francisco at Seattle. Seattle is re- uh, both of them ain't doing up to par right now. This is at Seattle. And Mike has done a pretty good job versus Seattle here in the past. Um, Man, it's a tough game. It's going to be one of the first good Thursday night games in a a while. Man, it's a tough one to pick. Hmm. Let me look at my power rankings and see where I got to rank that power power rankings wise. 49ers at 19. Seahawks at 14. I'm going to go Seahawks. Jacksonville and Chicago. I'm going to go Chicago. Arizona at Green Bay. I'm going Green Bay. Indianapolis at Tennessee. Give me the Colts. Houston at New England. Give me Houston. Tampa Bay at New Orleans. Give me Tampa Bay. I think New Orleans is starting a rookie at Spencer Rattler. Uh, Cleveland at Philadelphia. Give me Philly. Washington at Baltimore. Give me Baltimore. The Chargers at Denver. Denver is ranked uh, in the top 10 in my power rankings. The Chargers are at 24. Give me Denver. Uh, Pittsburgh and Las Vegas. I think two teams going in different directions. Pittsburgh is at where the Steelers. 15. The Raiders are at where are the Raiders? Where are the Raiders? 22. Give me Pittsburgh. Give me Pittsburgh. Uh, Detroit at Dallas. Mm. I'm going to go Dallas just because they know Dallas missing. I'm going to give me Detroit. Give me Detroit. Atlanta at Carolina. Give me Atlanta. Cincinnati at the Giants. Give me Cincinnati. Monday night game, Buffalo at the Jets. Hmm. Jets got problems scoring. Give me Buffalo. Give me Buffalo. So that was my week five picks. Also with the power rankings, man, I appreciate you guys. For You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, no questions today. Um, had to kind of cut it short. That's why you got a recorded video and not a live one. But I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow when I drop my preview video for the Baltimore Ravens versus the Washington Commanders. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you all soon, man. Peace and love.